Hey guys and gals, today I'll be talking about a really enjoyable, fun movie, another Roddy Roddy Piper movie I'll be talking about. Um, it's called Last to Surrender from 1999. And um, this movie is definitely not new because it's one of those buddy-buddy cop movies type of thing, like Rush Hour, Lethal Weapon, 48 Hours, we know the deal. And you know, it's like these two cops from different worlds. One is an uh, Irish cop, one is, well, I guess Roddy Roddy Piper is Irish, right? Or is it? Or is he Scot Scotland? Scottish. Well, he's American anyway, and he's working with his Asian cop, right? But at the but at the beginning of this movie, he didn't know who, he, who the Asian cop was. You know, the movie starts out with him doing like an undercover surveillance stakeout operation, and you know, Roddy Roddy Piper being a badass, his character, and usually he plays mo the same character usually in his action movies. He's gonna go up there and kind of blow his own cover up. And then be like the shootout, because you want to know who this Chinese leader is, you know, this drug operation. So it's like a shootout in this Chinese restaurant. He knows this Chinese cop, Chinese, I mean, Chinese wait, waiter saved him. But at first, he doesn't know who he is. That's the later towards the movie. Um, he's chasing the, the lead thug down, the lead drug lord, trying to get him. But the Chinese cop, the Chinese waiter is always getting in his way. Since Red White Purpose failed to catch the guy. Um, later on, he finds out who the Chinese guy is. He found he was a, he's a police officer from China, and he wanted the same guy. So, the the, the police officer in the U.S. kind of like you know what you two gotta work together. So they end up going to Burma trying to catch this guy, and um, it, it's like mainly this movie has good action. I actually enjoy the action this one also, and I enjoy the soundtrack too. But it's like this movie carries more with the sense of humor be between. Roddy Roddy Piper's character and the Chinese police officer, as they both both jokes, jo I mean, as both go have beef with each other a little bit at first, like you know what fuck you type of attitude. He makes fun of his Asian her heritage, and the Asian cop kind of makes fun of his American heritage. You know, like you know they kind of like go at it a little bit. Uh, no, actually a lot <laughs> actually. Um, you know, as the movie progresses, as they're trying to find out who who the drug lord is, how they're gonna get this guy, they try to get this guy who works in the bar as an informant and they call him Ding Dong and they, they nickname him Ding Dong. It's funny. This scene is funny with this guy. Funny as hell. Especially when Ding Dong ended up going to fight Roddy Roddy Piper and he actually fought pretty good against Roddy Piper too. Um, movie progressed, you know, as they go on the plane ride and the plane crashed because Ding Dong got pissed off. He said, don't call me Ding Dong. And they crashed into the jungle. And that's where the movie had a little bit more sense of humor attitude between the two cops. You know, like the buddy buddy cop then. And then they went separate ways. By, and then one got captured by the drug lord's gang members in the village. And Roddy Roddy Piper's on the other side of the village of the innocent villagers. And Roddy Roddy Piper realized that his friend is still alive and he has to go save him. And stop the drug lord as they team up together when they met at the village where the drug lord villages. Um, like I say, good action. Um, this movie to me had maybe, I would say, more sense of humor between the two cops. But I actually enjoyed it though. I thought it carried well. You know, I wasn't disappointed. Um, definitely highly recommend it. If you're a fan of buddy buddy cop movies, and I felt like this one was well balanced, Last Two Surrenders is a must check out. Definitely. Anyway, peace guys. See you later.